it is me and my tea. And I am super excited because the July 2021 Potions and Poison Owl Crate Box has finally arrived. And due to some spoilers that unfortunately I have seen, I know that some of my absolute favorite, favorite bookish fandoms is going to be in this box. So let's get into it, shall we, with Trusty Pocket Knife. If you're unfamiliar with Owl Crate, is a really cool YA monthly subscription box, and every month you get some awesome bookish themed items and a brand new book, also signed by the author. So that's super cool. So here we have the inside of our box, and it looks like we have some paper wormies to get out. So first things first, as River Song would say, spoilers. That's actually pretty cute. I might frame this one. So first. One must get rid of the paper wormies, which are going to be a mess everywhere, but I do not mind. So the first thing that I see in our box is this really, really heavy and very pretty dark box. Ooh. Suffering from a bout of reader's block, our TBR jar is just the cure you need. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. So we have a really pretty ceramic jar with a nice little cork on top. And it says, let Owl Crate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. Ooh. And so here's the other side of our lovely jar. This is really, really cool. And of course, it will pop open. So you just put what books you need to read in here and you just pick it out. That is so cool. Next, ooh, and I'm glad that it is wrapped up very nicely because we have a lovely bath item and it says Vial of Dreams. Ooh, it is from the Fiction Bath Company and it is water mint and clementine scented. Ooh, Use, it's a bubble bath too. Ooh, that's going to be super fun and super relaxing. I am loving this so much. Next, we have, huh, we have this interesting little item here. It has the Owl Crate logo on it. It says, Finburn's Fatal Frozen Delicacies. <gasps> no way. Cool. So this is a popsicle holder slash maker. And so you just fill this up with whatever you want and pop it in the freezer and you have your own homemade popsicles. Cool. I never would have thought of something like that. Next, more paper wormies. <gasps> oh, cool. So I recognize this design right away. And so this matches Lucy Pevensey's um, elixir from the Chronicles of Narnia, the little jar that it's in. And so I assume you just open it up and you can put your own. It's a clear bottle so you can put your own hand sanitizer in it and have it as a little bag charm. Very clever owl crate, especially in these um, wonky times. So next... We have an Alice in Wonderland item, and it is so cool because it is an, an, an enamel bookmark, and on one side it says, eat me, and on the other it is, drink me, and of course it's on a nice chain, and this is so cool. I almost wish I could like maybe take it apart and turn it into like a necklace. That'd be super cute. I love stuff like this. Next, ooh, we have a fabric item. And if I remember correctly, this is the same artist that made the Lord of the Rings botanical illustrations in the Growing Wild box. And I'll leave a link to the video somewhere floating around up there. But I absolutely love her artwork. <gasps> ooh. And it looks like it is a little tea towel. 
And it says Poison Garden. Ooh, so we have like foxgloves with digitalis and water hemlock and white oleander and nightshade. <laughs> so if you're someone like me that likes this kind of interesting stuff, this is very cool. This is so cool. And the illustrations are incredible. So up next we have our pin for this month. So here we have this month's pin and it looks like a vial with two cross keys and a heart. So that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And of course the enamel pins always correspond with the book for that month. So also in the box we have this little card and it is a promotional item for a upcoming book that is set to release in mid-September. Says very nice. Which leaves now the book. So we have our letter from the author, which I always like to read after I've read the book, so in case there's any spoilers in it. And so that leaves this month's book, which is This Poisoned Heart. Ooh. And from what I've heard about this book, it sounds like it's going to be right up my alley. So of course, yay, signed by the author. And I think this is one of my favoritest um, author's signatures. It's very nice. And also, ooh, yay, it's a double surprise because we have a reversible just jacket. And I absolutely love... It looks like this girl's like maybe apartment or room and it has all the different plants. Very cool. But also it has beautiful gilt roses in it. I love foiling. I love gilding. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. So let's see what this book has to say for itself. Strange magic bl blooms behind a poison gate. Be Beatrice has a gift with a single touch, she can grow plants from tiny seeds to rich blooms. When her aunt dies the will and wills her a dilapidated estate in rural New York, she and her parents hope that, surrounded by plants and flowers, she will finally learn to control her gift. But their new home is sinister in a way they never expected. It comes with a mysterious set of instructions, a walled garden filled with the deadliest botanicals in the world, and a generations of secrets. There is more to Bree's sudden inheritance than she could have imagined, and she is determined to uncover it. Ooh. And this is also from the author that wrote Cinderella is Dead, and I am super excited to read this book because it has plants, it has mysteries, it has a touch of magic. Mwah. Perfect combination. So the last couple of items in our box is our monthly newsletter which has the letter from the author and then the owl crate and the original cover I think I like the original cover more this time it has more green than the teal and I like that a lot better interview with vendor some other book recommendations Instagram photo challenge Spotify playlist other books releasing this month and technically next month which is this month August's theme I am so excited because if you were anywhere on Instagram or Pinterest, there was this theme, this aesthetic, and it is dark academia. Oh my gosh. I'm super, super excited. And just look at this spoiler card. It is gorgeous. And it says every August box will include a book sleeve with artwork from Saint Derry Art. Very cool. I am super excited because I saw in a spoiler that one of the themes is going to be from The Secret History, which is basically Dark Academia, the Dark Ar dark Academia Handbook. So this is going to be so cool. And it will also have the next tin in our Darker Shades of Magic book tin series, and so I'm excited for that can't wait to put it on my shelf. 
Well, everybody, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in watching another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!